Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Jumbo. The Office was a classic award-winning comedy season series, awarded with Emmy Awards for five times. The excellent plot and outstanding performance by the cast made it earn giant viewership. The Office remained popular among the fans till season five, season six, and season seven went a bit low. Many people obviously saw a dip in consistency as well as plot lines of the show. After this, the viewership declined tremendously. Season 8 was a total flop, but how does such a marvelous show go under a decline like this? Here is an account of 10 reasons for The Office losing the fan following. Michael Scott leaving The Office Michael Scott served as the main pillar for the popularity of the show. He was the reason behind the popularity, as most of the viewers watched the show because of him. The entry of Andy Bernard trying to get an act like Michael Scott ended up having people's interest lost. Andy Bernard's incompetence to copy Michael Scott. Andy Bernard was supposed to be a copy of Michael, but he couldn't cope with the qualities which Michael Scott had. Michael was able to impress the viewers with his natural facial expressions and impressive style of talking. He had a consistent character. He was the best match for the character Steve Carell. People didn't accept Andy as a funny character. Although people admired his romantic aspect, he couldn't fill the gap, which was created by Michael Scott. Most of the fans were not happy with this change. Change of tone in the characters. Another reason for the downfall of The Office is the change of tone in the characters. While Michael Scott remained the manager, he made things more interesting by his awkward acts. Like dating Pam's mom, or finding Stanley cheating on his wife. In all these events, the best part was that he didn't let things get disgraceful or weird, and brought a realistic touch to the show. After Michael Scott left, things didn't go the way they were going before. Even being a comedy series, many episodes just didn't come up funny at all. The overreaction of characters made things more awkward and less interesting for the viewers. Addition of Unnecessary Characters The addition of new characters triggered the downfall of the show. Many people didn't like Nellie and Robert at the start of Season 7. Robert, who was acting as James Spader, acted well, but in later episodes his characters added weirdness to the show. The showbiz analysts consider it an unnecessary addition of characters, which pushed the show out of the limelight. Wrong card of sexism. Nellie came out as a bad character. The use of sexism for her advantage made a decline in her popularity. Nellie's character was confusing for the viewers. They didn't understand her purpose serving in the office. She came to be the most unpleasant character in the show. Viewers miss Jim. Replacing the character of Jim was also a major fault. The show would have worked well without the presence of Robert and Nellie. Viewers were attached to the original characters. The addition of new workers looked unnatural. The merger of Dunder Mifflin, Stanford, and Dunder Mifflin, Scranton was also weird. Viewers missed the original characters and could not digest the replacements. Change of Writer Another reason for the decline in popularity of the show is the shift in writing competencies. Paul Laberstein, the executive producer and playing Toby in The Office, had a role of writing. He left script writing for The Office and started the new show, The Farm. This change also had an impact on the quality of the show. Writers made a mess of the show by just throwing up ideas to the wall. Their incompetency to carry on the sequence of the story was visible from the written script. Change in the main plot of the story The success story of The Office was showing gray areas of the workplace. All of the painful dealings and forceful relationships that are dealt in day-to-day -day dealings at the workplace were very well captured in the story. Those episodes showed the commitment of the writer to show and portray his talent. But in season 8, something was clearly missing. The pool party was set in Florida at the boss's mansion, and many other scenes indicated a dramatic shift in the plot of the story. Inconsistency in Season 9 Before the launch of Season 9, it was assumed that the show would get back the attention and revival of the viewer. But the reality was all opposite. It all came out as a full flop. Carell was brought back to the show in the final series, expecting that it will add a boost to the show. 
but he also seemed awkward and a bit boring. He was not able to bring back the true life into the show. Season 9 premiere gave hopes into going back into its old style, but lifeless and dull episodes lost its limited viewers, who had hoped for the ninth season to come back like 1 through 5. Unnecessary Romance The Office got popular because of its high-level comedy and genuinely funny scenes. Some viewers reported that the extra romance of Pam with crew members seemed unnecessary and a source of annoyance for the viewers. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.